Hi, everyone. My name is Lynn. I live in the Northeast Georgia area. I've been in the workforce for over 40 years, and I've uh, worked in my own business for over four. A little over two of that has been in the gig economy. And I would like to share what I've learned with uh, other creators and then tweaking my own system in order to be able to successfully run a business in my area. And this will hopefully help you in your area as well and um, help you in growing your own business. I work on four apps, Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Spark, which is Walmart delivery. And uh, I work seven days a week when I started. I now average between 21 to $40 an hour. So I've been able to cut the amount of days and time and yet still make a nice full-time earning to support myself and uh, to be able to do a lot extra as well. Do things that I like to do. So I'd like to share again what I learned. And as the um, title suggests, Common sense, courtesy, and professionalism. These things are not very common, sadly to say, very sad to say, but they are essential for you to have a successful business. First thing I would like to share that helps you in your business is look the part. Is uh, not expensive clothing or anything like that, but by all means, uh, well arranged and nicely groomed. I mean, seriously, would you like someone delivering food or whatever the app of your choice is? It looked as though they rolled out of bed and into a vehicle. Certainly not. So you shouldn't look that way. Secondly, a smile and a hello to merchants, uh, um, co-workers, and your customers goes a long way. And if by chance there is a wait at the restaurant and you want to keep the order, by all means, contact your customer first. Uh, let them know in a quick text, uh, still waiting at the restaurant for your order to be prepared, and we'll get it to you as soon as possible. Use, of course, your own words and all, but something along those lines. In most cases, it is greatly appreciated by the customer, but gauge the customer because at times they're agitated. And when that happens, by all means, um, you will be the one to suffer for it. And bad ratings are complaints to the company. You know, we as delivery drivers are on the front lines. So we bear the brunt of the issues when things go wrong, even though they're not our fault. So contact support. Let them know the circumstances and of the excessive weight and the um, attitude of the customer and that you would like to collect your fee for the success of weight. So let them give you a fee for on assigning the order and then move on next uh, order, hopefully being more beneficial and profitable. Remember, in your business, time, your time is valuable. So treat it in that way, and um, it will greatly benefit you. Also, 
I would like to add um, that you um, can benefit from uh, the particular note before pressing delivered on Uber Eats and I believe Spark as well that a uh, little note to the customer so take a few seconds and say thank you for ordering you know and before delivering or um enjoy your meal some a nice little greeting uh, by way of uh, letting the customer know that you appreciate uh, the business and all um, and so it goes a long way. And I'd like to share with you just how much it does. Now, a little disclaimer. This is not guarantee you any particular amount. This definitely is not bragging. It's just to show that common courtesy, professionalism, a little common sense you know, goes a long way. Now, this is a little envelope where I've received cash tips. And um, and this was uh, $66. This is what I received in the past five weeks. This is a um, cash tip. And I would also like to share just uh, one example. Uh, this is on Uber Eats. You see the amount was $25.82. And the estimated, the estimate, I'm sorry, for the trip, as it says here, was $11.98. And that's including a tip, an upfront tip, I should say. And the customer tipped you even more after delivery. Nice. As was said there with an exclamation point. Now, you see that this occurred uh, recently. So this was a Saturday, June the 5th. And um, the amount of time is 22 minutes and 12 seconds and 5.3 miles. That's incredible uh, dollar to mile ratio for this. Um, you can't beat this. Uh, this is incredible. And, all. and this was because doing what I just shared with you. And this is just one example of what has happened. So um, I'm here to help you to work strategically to maximize your earnings with minimal wear and tear to you personally. And that includes you and your vehicle as well. If you like what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.